All right, hello everyone and welcome back again to Resolution Design and yet another video related to Shopify. In this particular episode or in this video, we're gonna learn on how to get TikTok connected. So for those of you who are not in the loop, let me explain why this is important. TikTok has one of the best algorithms when it comes to social media in order to understanding your client base and who they are. And so the latest thing when it comes to the top of the sales funnel is TikTok. Let's go ahead and start diving in into the whole setup. So the first thing that I would recommend is for you guys to go ahead and install TikTok on your phone. Just go ahead and create a business TikTok account. Once you log in, go into your profile, uh, into your profile, which is like right here all the way at the bottom, that, that indicator right there, yep. And uh, look at the top, look at the top of the name of what you have. You'll notice that in mines, I don't have too many right now, as you can see, but right there at the top, this guy right here, click on that. And when you click on that, you see a dialogue from below that kind of looks like this, okay? And so you see that where it says add account, go ahead and click on that and start the whole process. It's very easy. Fill out the name of the business, you know, first name, last name, the business name and all that type of stuff and fill out everything that needs to be done. Now, make sure that it's probably on, like on a business account or a professional account, that's probably important. So make sure that you have that ready. And once you are done, that's where we're gonna go and see if we could attach all of that information into Shopify. So we're in this screen right here um, in Shopify. And the first thing that we're gonna do is let's click on apps. And on apps, we're gonna click on apps and sales channel settings. And from here, we're gonna click on customize your store. So from here, uh, we're gonna go into what we're very familiar with, which is the Shopify theme store. And from here, let's go ahead and type in TikTok. And so from here, we have tons of different applications. What we're gonna go with is just a standard one. We're gonna go with TikTok made by TikTok, okay? We're gonna go with that. And let's go ahead and add this application in. And it's gonna ask us, hey, do you want us to, you know, like their little permission settings and whatnot. We're gonna say, add that sales channel. And once we do that, hopefully it might open right away. Let's see what it says here. All right, now we're in this screen. So we, if this screen should look very familiar because it almost resembles the Facebook setup, okay? Uh, the Facebook setup where you install the Facebook app and then you click on the app and it's almost like a real sales channel. Um, and so now that it's a sales channel, it says it's trying to actually connect with your account. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and not waste any time at all. Let's get connected. So right here, it says, grow your business on TikTok, reach millions. Let's go ahead and start this setup process. So let's go ahead and begin uh, where it says set up marketing. And right here we have uh, connect TikTok for business to access all of your business account in one place. And so right here, it's asking us connect TikTok for business. So it's looking for an account where it's TikTok for business and we're gonna go right to it. So right here, uh, a dialogue comes out and it's asking us to go ahead and log in with TikTok. We're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so for those who have little issues trying to log in, one of the best approaches that I do is that I open a separate uh, tab on the browser, as you can see right up above. And what I've done is that I've logged in into the TikTok account that you've recently created. So just like how you created it on your phone, go ahead on the desktop on the browser, log in there first, come back here, refresh, and try to log in using that button that says uh, log in using TikTok. And once you do that, that's what brings us to this screen right here. Uh, right here, we're gonna say that we do agree with the terms of services and subscribe information about TikTok for business. We don't need this stuff. And right here, that's what we're trying to do. Since we created a an account for TikTok, we have to now create a business account in order for us to do ads and so on and so forth. Very similar to like Google ads and Facebook ads, you already know the deal, right? So in this case, that's what I'm doing. Now, for those who've already created a business account, if you already jumped ahead in the future or whatever, you could go ahead and link your existing TikTok for business account on this screen so that it kind of merges together. But I'm gonna pretend like you guys have never done this before. So that's why I'm kind of like doing this here. Let's go ahead and press confirm on that and let's move forward. So now that this is done, we have our ID for business and let's go ahead and just connect. I don't know why we're being asked this again, but uh, okay, let's go ahead and connect this. Perfect. Now that we're done here, we've already created the account. It says that it does not find an ads manager account. 
So for that reason, let's now log in into that newly created business account that we just did before. For those who want to know, uh, what I went to is the website that's called business.tiktok.com, almost like the Facebook one because Facebook kind of has the same thing. It's a business.facebook.com. Uh, so for TikTok, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, and so from this screen, go ahead and click log in. And from there, go ahead and log in as uh, the TikTok. Same thing as you did before. You use your TikTok login in order to go ahead and, and merge into the business center of TikTok. Once you do that, you're gonna get a dialog that says, do you wanna integrate the two? It's gonna ask you the same question, say yes to that. And that should take you to this new screen that we have over here. Let me just show you. Uh, and let's go ahead and increase the zoom size because I wanna make sure that you guys could see uh, what we're doing here. Okay, and this is it. So this is kind of like a, a wizard asking us about the account and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and start naming some of this stuff in here. So these questions are very basic. They're not too complicated. So uh, the first question is asking you for the name of the company. And now they're asking you for, are you an agency? Are you doing this behalf on behalf of the client or are you an advertiser? So for those of you guys who are watching that are representing uh, your clients, obviously choose you're an agency and fill that out. But if you are your own merchant, you wanna choose you're an advertiser. I'm an advertiser and you put your company name and you fill out as much information that you can about your industry. So it asks you uh, what industry are you in? Obviously go ahead and put e-commerce. And then when it comes to what are the types of uh, products that you sell, if you find your products here, go ahead and place them. But if you don't click on other, type up what that other is. In our case, we're doing pet supplies. So that's what we're doing here. And then finally, now it's asking us for our information when it comes to, um, to billing, because this is the billing information that's gonna be used in order to go ahead and bill for the ads. All right, great, so once you have that information all filled out over here, what you wanna do is let's go ahead and press create, and then we get our little introduction towards welcome to the TikTok Business Center. Uh, it gives, you could go ahead and start reading some of this stuff, but um, all right, so what it's asking us right away based on this interface is that we need to hurry up and create an ad account and that ad account is what we're going to essentially attach to Shopify so that they're kind of like linked in. Uh, you'll, see all, you'll see all the connection to this whole madness. That's why I'm making this video tutorial for you guys. So let's go ahead and start this process. So to begin, we have certain tasks that it's telling us to go ahead and follow. We're gonna go ahead and click on create an ad account. And that's exactly what we wanna do. And so uh, we have several options here as you can see we could either create a new or request access to a certain account and for this we're going to go ahead and say let's go ahead and create a new one and so from here uh, it's going to ask us for more information time zones etc let's go ahead and fill that out and fast forward all right and now that we have that filled out let's go ahead and press next to that okay and so we have some basic information here um, just to verify and let's go ahead and press submit to that. All right, so one thing for sure, once I was looking at this, make sure that this doesn't happen to you, you're pressing submit and you're like, this is not going through, what's up? What's going on? Scroll down, scroll down, make sure you enable that check mark. I fell for that, don't worry, it's okay. All right, we've successfully created uh, an account. So let's see what's going on in our checklist. We have to set up a payment and then finally create an ad. Let's make sure that uh, this information is actually added in there. Let's just uh, dive in and set up a payment. Finances is required, okay? Only members with finance permission can view this page. So let's update access settings here. Uh, let's see here, finance manager, finance analyst. Okay, let's go ahead and update that because we want to say that, yeah, you're pretty much the, the owner of this whole thing. Now that we have this whole setup here, it, the status is approved. Everything is great. I'm not going to add any money yet. I just wanted to make sure that this was already created. Now let's see if we could go back into the uh, this whole setup here and let's go ahead and press refresh on this in Shopify to see if it picks up that we've already created an ads account, hopefully. Great. So back in Shopify, again, I had paused for a moment right there and then I went over to the business center to go ahead and create all that stuff instead of the other way around where I go in a business center trying to create an account and all that good stuff, right? So because I went ahead and did all that step, you should see this step here. If you have any problems doing what I just did right now, what I would advise you is perhaps start from the beginning with 
a dedicated email. By the way, guys, if you're creating a TikTok account with an email address, just make sure that you're using a business email and not like your personal email or any other business emails. Just keep things organized in that sense so that that way you have everything just organized at the end of the day. So you have your business email, you have the business account all associated to that. Try not to mix it up, it gets a bit hairy. So now that we have confirmed that this is in fact the ads account, let's go ahead and press connect on that because that is in fact what we're trying to set up here. And here we go, <laughs> data sharing. Your customer data is used to target products, posts and ads uh, at customers on TikTok. With different levels, you can choose the amount of data to share. Data sharing, basically what this means is since TikTok is gonna be bringing over people into Shopify, how much data can Shopify share back to TikTok in order to adjust to the right clients and bring the right people into your website? It's kind of like, using the algorithm to make those adjustments in order so that people could come into your website. That's what that means. And so we have different variations. And of course you could click here to learn a little bit more as far as how that breakdown pretty much happens. Um, but for the most part, so you could see, um, you could see these different levels, right? Different tracking technologies. This is what I recommend. Do the whole thing. Why? Well, the reason is because you are obviously investing your marketing dollars and you want the best of the best clients coming over to you. So give TikTok as much information as possible, but please make sure that your privacy policies are up to date. The last thing that you need to get uh, in trouble is with folks that are shopping from, let's say, California because of CCPR. Um, then they have that other one in Europe where they have those issues. Um, you, you want to make sure that you're protected on privacy policy because this does record about a lot of information. So make sure you're protected on that. Uh, I'll make a separate video about the importance of privacy policy. Okay, and so we have our tracking. Let's go ahead and, and confirm that. The tracking, uh, the pixel tracking was automatically set up for you. And then we're going to say finish setup. And then pretty much that's it as far as getting that part set up, right? So this is everything having to do with setting up the business account, making sure that the uh, the pixels are already set up and running. And then finally, you have some more information towards how data sharing works, uh, how to set up conversion ads, and how to make sure that your ads are properly optimized, okay? So that's what this uh, training covers. It's just the basics. Now, of course, then the next training, what we wanna talk about is how do we go ahead and start creating ads? Like how do we go through the ad funnel process? I wanna make this a series, but before I make this a series, I need help from you guys. I need to make sure that you demolish that like button because what that does to the algorithm is that it makes it so that more people can view this channel or this video specifically. And also what it does is that it helps me out so that I could go ahead and say, okay, you guys want more of this TikTok stuff? I'm gonna give it to you because you guys are pressing the like, you guys are pressing the subscribe and you're adding comments below. Comments do help us out. So based on you help me out, I help you out. Can we make this deal? Can we make this deal, right? I'm not asking for money. Can we make this deal? Uh, that's all I'm asking for. So uh, please go ahead and demolish that like button and share a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. If you want me to go ahead and through the funnel process of creating an ad campaign, let me know so I could create a part two. Otherwise, see you soon.